Welcome back to our jam. We're on another clear screen with one more example that I can think of and actually demonstrate, even though this is not my subject area. So we've got our clear background. Remember, you can get up here and, and do some other things. I'm going to use some lines, I think, just to show the differences in things. I'll pick which kind of a pen I want so it shows up good. I'll probably leave it black. I'm not inserting anything else. I don't need the laser to show, but I want to give you one more possibility. I cannot tell you how many times science and math teachers have come to me trying to figure out how to put in superscript and subscript letters and numbers. If you're balancing an equation or writing a formula or trying to show how many atoms of this and how many pieces of that and how many of whatever else, it's really hard to do online because we just don't, all the programs don't have those features. You could use Jamboard in that same kind of a way to get those formulas across. I am not going to attempt to balance an equation, but I'll show you how we could write some of them. And you can think of all the ways that your students could draw it and diagram it out like we do with different kinds of equations and different formulas for chemicals and, and see how those features work. So here's one for what it's worth. And remember, I'm left-handed trying to use a mouse to make actual letters. It's just gonna take me a minute. It might take students a minute. So maybe you give them in the boxes, in these sticky notes, give them the parts and they move them around. Maybe you come up with some much more suitable for you way to do this. That's supposed to be a C. That's an O when here's a three. And you can say, hey, anybody know what this is a formula for? Hopefully you know what this is a formula for. When I looked it up, it said it was baking soda. So you can come over here and put it, put in the image of it. You can put it on a sticky note that explains what it is. Baking soda. Maybe you use this together with the class. And then the next day you assign it out and mix these guys up and they have to match them. There's, there's lots of possibilities here with this. C6, H12, and the lines can help keep me lined up because this is going to be a little messy, but that's okay. This one, anybody know what this one is? And you ask around, you see if somebody says glucose, because that's what it is. And you can make them different colors and whatever it is you needed to do. Maybe you give them the sticky notes that say what they are and they have to draw the formulas. Maybe with a team, they're drawing those formulas. You can go on, I've got the formula for caffeine, but it's like four different things and some more numbers. But I hope that you can see some possibilities because you could put the information that you wanted them to match in this, work through it together, give it to them later in a different format, mix the things up and have them match give them this and have them write it down and be able to see that share maybe you put a different sticky note on each of the slides and each of your 10 or 15 or 20 students gets a different slide you're on slide six you've got to answer this one give me the formula for that and give them some practice and see in real time what they're doing so possible science application as well as drawing it out and balancing the equation and seeing all the ways that we need to see a process and that we as teachers can guide that process and help the student before they get completely lost in all of those steps in some cases and, and intervene and help them make sense of the content that we're trying to cover. So it's one more way you could use Google Jamboard. I hope your interest is piqued. I hope you have ideas and see ways to use it. Please comment and subscribe. Let me know what it is you're doing with it. I'd be interested to hear. Thanks.